Hi there, Adam here, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily add an announcement banner or sticky bar to the top of your WordPress website for free. This is great because a lot of people are going to come to your website and see the banner. Some of those people are going to click on it, and I know from experience it does help you make affiliate sales and also direct traffic to an opt in page and build your list. So, we've got this test site here, Video Marketing Store. It's an old site, and I'm going to go to the dashboard and I'm going to come to where it says plugins and add new and we're going to search for a plugin called simple banner so simple banner and we'll hit enter we'll find this plugin it should be the first one it's this one by Ryan Peterson we're going to click on install now and then we're going to click on activate and it should appear in the left hand side down here if you can't see anything just refresh the page and then it should be there then click on simple banner once and this is where we edit and make the banner look nice. So a few things we need to do. First, we're gonna play around with this actual text and link. So it gives you the exact thing that you've got to actually copy and paste here. So I just wanna copy all of this to this, the start of the inverted bracket and the end, not anything else. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna put it in this big box here where it says simple banner text. And there are two things. We want to change the destination link. So rather than send people to wordpress.com, I'm going to go and grab a URL. So one second. I'm gonna get this URL, gonna come back and then I'm just gonna replace this here. So we'll put that in there. And then rather than say link to WordPress, I'm just going to take a bit of text from this headline. So I'm going to grab this bit here. We'll copy the whole thing and we'll come back and I'll just replace this. And then at the, here, I'm just going to put click here to get. And we'll make sure that the G is capital as well. So it all makes sense. So now we've got that, but you can see it still looks fairly ugly and hard to read due to the coloring. So first we're going to change the font size. I like to use 20, so we'll put 20 PX, make it bigger and readable. And let's just come down and it looks okay. So this coloring doesn't really, you know, suit. So I'm going to click on the red and I'm going to try and change this to a darker blue. So we'll kind of try something like that. We'll click outside and it changes. And then I know that yellow goes well with dark blue. If you ever want to check what colors go well with each other, you can use a color wheel. I'll leave a link to a free one below. So we'll try and find something a bit yellowy. Let's try that. Click outside and you can see the change. Maybe a little bit brighter. Let's try that. That looks good. Uh, when you're happy, just scroll down here. Make sure that this is static. Sometimes it might be unchecked. If it's unchecked, just check static. And then we're going to come right to the bottom. We'll hit save changes. And that should be that. And then if we actually go to the page in question and refresh it, then we should see a banner. Wait for a second. There we go. Click here to get high quality white label content that you can brand as yours. And we can see that it's hyperlinked because as we hover over it, we can just see that. So if we click on this, it's going to link to that particular website. There we go. So let's just go back. So that is a great way to add it. It was completely free. You didn't have to buy anything, didn't need any technical skills. Just follow along with the video and you can install that plugin on as many WordPress websites as you want. And again, I do know from experience that adding this has got me affiliate sales on some of my niche sites. It has increased the opt-in rate on some sites. It's definitely worth playing around with. Just one word of warning, Double check it on your phone. Make sure that it looks okay on a mobile because you are probably going to get a lot of mobile traffic. And if you prefer to have it displayed elsewhere, just use one of the other options and just choose the one that you prefer. So I'll leave the link below to the actual plugin. Any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right-hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.